Hello audience, I'm Manslave. It's Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2013. As you can see, it's 1.55 p.m. And I, you know, it's Valentine's Day, so I figured I would focus on the gynocentrism. I found this website when I was looking for a logo like this for my Valentine's Day special that me and the Disposable Human Doing recorded last night on February 13th of 2013. And I was just basically going to draw in a female figure there and basically make it more obvious that it's about boobs and feminism and, then of course, the heart and gynocentrism and all this other kind of stuff that I was going to use for my um, video clip. And um, so I stumbled upon this website here. I heart boobs. Basically, heart meaning love. Look at the gynocentrism here. It's... Now, what it speaks is uh, self-interest. Uh, well, I mean, well, self-interest on behalf of the female, but gynocentric um, uh, self-benefit because we are all we are all both male and female um, dependent upon women at such a very young age. Uh, we get our our sustenance, our our nutrients from the breasts uh, from our mother. Throughout history, uh, in recent decades, it's been formula because, honestly, women are just too lazy or whatever to uh, <clears throat> to breastfeed. So I'm looking at this website, and I, I want you to see what I see here. Wow. Wow. So this is important, worthy of everyone's focus and attention. <clears throat> Tamara's, uh, Tamara Barney's Bachelor Party. Wow. The Real Housewives of Orange County. Mm. More gyno uh, gynocentrism, as if it wouldn't be obvious enough. Um, I'm going to show you some more here. Um, look at all this. Just, I guess it's benevolent sexism or whatever, but women do it whenever it's convenient to them. And then they'll they'll claim that there's negative sexism when it's convenient to them. Oh wow, look, you know, this child had like no consent or no say in like wearing that shirt. You'll see it gets even better. Uh, they're selling apparel and uh, making uh, money off of all this. Um, and it's big business, uh, kind of centrism. Uh, so let's see, let's look at the about page. Today there are more. Uh, there, there's more hope than ever for people touched by breast cancer. However, there's still more work to be done. Of course, there's always more work to be done because it's for the female. Uh, Help impacted by the disease. Uh, breast. Oh, fuck. God damn. This is February of 2013, and it's every week now. I see uh, T-shirts with this logo on it right here. Save a rack. And, you know, there's Save the Rack. Now, I haven't seen this one being worn around, uh, but in the past week, I've seen t-shirts with this logo being worn by women. Only women. Um, I've seen them uh, up at the Walmart in a nearby city. Um, and then I've seen them in the local town, in, in the town where I live. Uh, let's see what their YouTube looks like. Uh, their YouTube channel. Well, it's Just For Does on Facebook. Uh, just For Does. We hunt like you, only prettier. Wow. Once again, <clears throat> it is a woman invading a uh, male space, which traditionally has been hunting. Uh, okay. No. The link actually goes to the Facebook page, even though it's got the YouTube icon. Um, but, you know, I got my Validation Warfare YouTube channel. Just for does. Now, where are they? Mm-hmm. 
do they not? Oh, Michelle Obama, breast cancer awareness speech, and there's her pink ribbon of gynocentrism. Let's just see if there's any fairness here. Mm -hmm. You see what I searched for? Michelle Obama, prostate cancer. <coughs> Mm, okay, um, childhood obesity, uh, well, here's more, uh, Women's Day bullying prevention, um, okay, nothing relevant to prostate cancer, let's look at, um, testicular cancer. <coughs> Uh, let's see if Michelle Obama is... Wow. Wow. So I'm looking up uh, results for Michelle Obama, the, the president's wife, um, for um, for uh, testicular cancer and, uh, you know, um, yeah, tes testicular cancer. And it just comes up with breast cancer awareness um, and just other Michelle Obama stuff. Now, let's see, let's put the obvious. Okay, the breast cancer comes up. Um, oh, Dance for the Cure, more breast cancer awareness. Uh, more women's stuff. Okay, more women's stuff. Okay. Oops. So, let's see if there's any testicular cancer awareness. Okay, well here's some. Was it by a famous person like Michelle Obama? Wow. Okay, so uh, Michelle Obama doesn't care about uh, prostate or any type of men's cancer. Um, as you can tell, it is Valentine's Day because YouTube themed their um, thing with that. Let's see what I... <laughs> Still got a bit of a cold. Oh, wow. Love every sip. Uh, a woman and with Pepsi. Wow. Mm -hmm. And... Um, So, um, yeah. Now, let's look. Save Iraq. Save Iraq event to promote breast cancer awareness. Wow. Okay. Breast cancer hysteria, basically, because that's what it amounts to. Wow, lots of stuff on, and uh, wow. So you make the decision. I mean, there's more. There's more emphasis put on. Uh, Hmm. Blue Cure Foundation. Sounds interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to subscribe to it.
Now I want to bring up something. Breast cancer awareness. The problem with pink. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, pink on everything. Yes, but let's face it, breasts are a symbol of femininity and, femininity and motherhood. They're sexy and sex sells. Even if it turns everything, uh, a deadly disease into a glorified, uh, yeah, even if it turns a deadly disease into a glorified marketing tool. Save the tatas. Yep, that's what uh, the person saw in there. Um, let's look at this. Let's look it up in Wikipedia. Come up in here. Let's see what the kill rates are. Ooh, wow! Society and culture for breast cancer. Uh, the article on breast cancer here on Wikipedia. Overemphasis. Wow, interesting. Compared to other, disease, uh, other diseases or other cancers, breast cancer receives a disproportionate share of resources and attention. In 2001, MP uh, uh, Ian Gibson, uh, Chairman of the House of Commons for the United Kingdom, and all uh, an all-party group on cancer stated that, that the treatment has been skewed by the lobbying. There's no doubt about that. Uh, breast cancer uh, sufferers get better treatment in terms of... Uh, bed spaces, facilities, and, doctor, uh, and doctors and nurses. Breast cancer also receives significantly more media coverage than, than uh, other equally prevalent cancers. Uh, with a study uh, by Prostate Can uh, Coalition showing that 2% or 2.6 breast cancer stories um, for each one covering cancer of the prostate. So for every um, story that covers uh, you know cancer of the prostate uh, 2.6 are stories of breast cancer ultimately there is a concern uh, that uh, that favoring suffers uh, suffers of breast cancer with disproportionate funding and research on their behalf uh, may well be uh, costing lives everywhere partly because it is a relatively high prevalence uh, and long-term survival rates, partly because of its relatively high prevalence and long-term survival rates. Research is biased towards breast cancer. Some subjects, uh, such as cancer-related uh, fatigue, have been studied uh, in little except women, uh, except women with breast cancer. Hmm. So anyway, yeah, see, that's the thing. Uh, people from all different... Um, demographics have have you know been subjected to cancer um, over their lifetime and you know it, it, it's I don't know if you call it a disease or a virus or whatever but it's some kind of medical condition in which people suffer from and it, it's killing a lot of people and you know there's there's brain cancer there there's um there's skin cancer, there's lung cancer, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, of course, breast cancer. I think I've heard of stomach cancer. I, I've I've heard of a lot of different cancers before, but you know you, you don't hear these campaigns of skin cancer awareness, which will which can affect all people and not just all people. I suppose animals could suffer from it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a more um, you know, um, a distributed type of cancer among the demographics. Um, <clears throat> so, um, 
you know, uh, anybody could suffer from skin cancer. Or there's brain cancer. You know, there's all these these bad kinds of cancer that people suffer from, and there needs to be a cure. However, what do we see? What what is most of the cancer awareness advertising? Yep, just for women. You know, and I see these T-shirts with these logos around town, and people start wearing them here, pretty much only during February of 2013 so far, because we're in the middle of February. And you know, it's just. I mean, it's an excuse for, for more gynocentrism. I mean, look at it. Look at this. Save Iraq? What the fuck? I mean, why is this, like, using deer antlers? And, of course, it's it's subversive and all that. Why don't they just say something like, you know, save a mother, you know, or, or whatever? You know, if they're going to, you know, if they're going to, you know... But no, they have to make it all extra, you know, catchy and, and interesting and all that. I mean, they do whatever it takes to keep the money flowing toward them. Um, oh, let's see. If there's um, if there's pink ribbon, uh, more gynocentrism uh, for people that can't seem to notice it. Um, okay, we don't need to see any pictures of breast cancer. It's fucking sick. Uh Let's look at the mortality rates on breast cancer. Um, oh gosh, I misspelled that. Yes, I want that nah, spelling corrected. Wow. 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 Worldwide, breast cancer accounts for 22.9% of all cancers. Now, that's excluding non-melanoma skin cancers in women. Okay. In 2008, uh, nearly half a million deaths worldwide. Um, uh, uh, breast cancer caused almost a half million or just under a half million deaths worldwide and that's about 13.7 percent of cancer deaths in women wow um, and um, so yeah so it's not some kind of pandemic that's like killing off all the women so what the fuck justifies all this fucking like over awareness and, and, and like over you know excessive amounts of concern Cabellos in the hunt for a cure, cure breast cancer. Because everybody cares about mommy. They don't care. The, they, they don't care about daddy. You know, as long as well, because they, you know, this is all metaphors and all that. But, well, they don't care about daddy because, you know, after all, in the event that daddy dies off from cancer or whatever, there's the state and the government with the welfare to come in and help mommy. You know, mommy is all a child needs in their life. Presumption of motherhood, tender years doctrine. It's in the best interest of the child. Meh. All right, so um, we see this um, survival rates um, are, you know, survival rates in the Western world are high. For example, more than eight out of ten women, that's around 84 percent in England, diagnosed with breast cancer, survived at least five years. Now, let's see the kill rates of uh, prostate cancer. Wow, there's, uh, you know, you hear about such things as aggressive types of prostate cancer. Um, there's, yeah, testicular cancer and all that, um,
why wow, look at that um you look at um in Africa and uh and uh South America has the highest rate of uh prostate cancer deaths in the world now let's look at um equivalents for breast cancer um Still, right there in Africa is still where the, the most amount of cancer is for both men and women and all that. And yet, this, you hear, I mean, people die of cancer and yet, like who cares? I mean, when the when do I see prostate cancer awareness shirts? Oh, well, they're they're um okay. So some people uh, have um, something like that. Uh, okay, okay, it's, it's got a girl advertising this stuff once again, but then it's sex sells and all that. Well, honestly, I had to look these up just now on YouTube because I haven't seen um, any <clears throat> any of uh, these shirts around town, you know. Um, now should I get a bracelet or should I get a, um, should I get a lanyard? What is this? Um, <laughs> you know, like, the disposable human doing was talking about this kind of stuff, which gave me the idea to search for it. Save the balls. But, like... I agree with save a pair, but it's like... I, I don't want to see the I heart balls, you know what I'm saying? Um... So I'm um the slogan I think needs some work. Oh my gosh. There's even gotta be pink in testicular cancer awareness. What the fuck? I just did that random search, um Um, oh, we got to wait till September. Wow. All right. And we're going to look at Amazon Marketplace. Yeah, I'd actually like to buy something that's um got prostate cancer awareness That's pretty cool. <laughs> Warrior. <laughs> Maybe I ought to get one of these lapel pins and wear it around. Anyway, I'm not going to order one right now because if I do, my personal information is going to be up on this video. 
Ah, credit card number, all this other stuff. I don't need that to happen. But anyway, um, oh well, let's see if um if Cabell's equal. Wow, no prostate cancer stuff. Wow, breast cancer stuff. Imagine that. Imagine that all showing up. And I'll just show you again. Notice the breast cancer awareness. You know, breast cancer awareness. And they've got one, two, three, four, five items. Okay. Now, keep the cancer up there and put P R O S T A T E. No items found. This is interesting because Cabela's is known for m merchandise targeted toward men as a demographic. Hunting, fishing, archery, shooting, camping, you know, it, it's pretty well, you know, masculine, right? Let's put testicular cancer in there. Testicular cancer. Wow! No other types of men's cancer. Let's just put in cancer in general and see what comes up. Wow. Put up cancer. There it is. There it is. Right there. The only cancer that Cabela's right now on Valentine's Day of 2013, the only cancer right now that Cabela's actually cares about is breast cancer. So here it is on a men's website. Okay. Hunting, shooting, fishing, boating, camping, auto, RV, clothing, footwear, home and cabin, hobbies. All this androcentric type of hobby stuff, all this uh, masculine hobby type of stuff that Cabela's is known for. Uh, and, and yet, they, they don't. The only cancer, the only cancer that Cabela's actually cares for is, um, is, is women's cancer. You know, which is breast cancer. It's predominantly women, feminine, and all that. I mean, like, founded by a dude. You know, a man. You know, it just... I, of course, women care about women's cancer. That's why I see women wear these shirts all the time now. And then a company founded by men, for men, to sell men's um, type of, uh, you know... Um, uh, interest uh, uh, merchandise and like all they care about is fucking like you know is women's cancer I mean look at this Cafe Press is selling the stuff I, I, honestly I, in my opinion you know I think that women's cancer is, is just too well funded you know it's well taken care of right now we need to start focusing on men's cancer, you know, if we're going to be some kind of equal society, you know what I'm saying? Um, I heard that, that prostate and breast cancer kill roughly equal amounts of people. Um, <sighs> Alright, this is the, look at this, cdc.gov, the Center for Disease Control, and, okay, lung cancer is on the decline, prostate cancer is right there, with that type of dotted line, wait, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's just dashes. And then dash and dot, that's that's pancreatic, which is the pancreas. Colon cancer is in decline. Breast cancer, female only, that kind of dotted line. Wow. It's declining. So is prostate cancer. It's declining. But guess what? What do you see here? As the years go on, now this data is from 2007, so it's roughly six years old. According to the CDC, 
you know, the, the leading authority on, like, medical, like, related topics in America. And <clears throat> you see a steady decline of breast cancer and uh, prostate cancer. Okay, breast cancer, female only, as it says. And, of course, prostates. Only males have prostates. So you see it has roughly equal kill rates. And in late 2006, it was exactly equal. Okay, with prostate cancer actually rising a bit more, as you can see that angle there. Uh, breast cancer, it looks like it's rising a bit also. But right there in early 2006, they were equal. Completely equal. Still roughly equal. Why the fuck do you see most of uh, why do you see exactly just look look what I did according to the Center for Disease Control the leading authority in America um, cancer now we're in the year 2013 and this data goes up to the year 2000 but you see right here Prostate cancer, right there, the dashed line. And then breast cancer, female only, the dotted line. You see it kills roughly equal amounts of people, right? And why the fuck that on a man's website for men's equipment for hunting, shooting, fishing, boating, camping, auto RV, clothing, footwear, home cabin hobbies, all this stuff, all this androcentric, all this masculine merchandise... Why is it whenever I, Manslave, of the Validation Warf Warfare YouTube channel, um, whenever I, Manslave, who runs the Validation Warfare YouTube channel, look at a masculine merchandise retailer and look at their website for cancer, I see only breast cancer awareness and it's the pink color of feminism even though the CDC the Center for Disease Control the leading authority in America on medical information says that testicular cancer and breast cancer kill equal at roughly equal rates so why is even a you know, why is it that, that even a masculine type of retailer only cares about breast cancer awareness? It, it goes into more gynocentrism. I mean, how can it get any more obvious than this? And I'm doing this on Valentine's Day. I mean, like, fuck what people think. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, society is so fucking, like, disoriented, you know, from, like, reality. So, um, anyway, you can see this website here. You can see all the websites. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm done with this video for now. Uh, I just want to make this video for Valentine's Day. Once again, I'm Manslave. I run the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. Um, I'm not really a uh, men's rights activist. I need to put that disclaimer out there so that the movement does not get blamed for what I do and that I don't get blamed for what the movement does or whatever because I'm I am elite MIGTO. I created that for myself and anybody else who wants to like come along toward that philosophical movement and you know they they, they actually better meet the criteria and all that um and, uh, yeah, and, you know, because I don't think the men's rights movement is going to be as successful as they want to be. Um, you know, just like the libertarians, they just keep fighting their battle for, like, mainstream approval, and it just never happens. So, you know, I'm setting sail on my own ship, and it's elite MIGTO. So, anyway, once again, I'm Manslave, and, uh, Valentine's Day, and, um, you know what? down with gynocentrism. Maybe we'll have some real equality, equal treatment for a change.